Zoe, good to see you again. How are you? Good to see you too. My God, you have great hair. Thank you. I knew. I, I appreciate you. It's really all I have going for me. Once you hear my questions, you'll be like, "Oh, no, it's just all hair." No, and then your last name, Hamilton. Come on. I know. I know. <laughs> I, I gotta impress you. I can't just phone it in. My God. Well, we're going. We don't need roads. <laughs> so good to see you again. I, I, I wept like a baby during this and not even like a cute single tear, like an ugly gagging silent Yeah, ugly crying. Cry. I did it too, oh, yeah. Oh, it was an ugly cry. Um, so I have a thousand questions for you. I've got to tell you though, I am so fascinated with the idea behind this movie, but I personally can't decide if I would rather be the kid or the adult in this situation, if I'd want to give advice or be the receiver advice. At this moment in your life, would you rather have someone come back to you and tell you things about what's going to happen or would you rather be the one that goes back and talks to a younger self? I would want to go back and talk to younger, younger versions of, of people, yeah. And, and of myself primarily, yeah. Why is that? Why, why, why wouldn't you want to hear what's to come? I don't know. I guess I'm okay with what's to come. Yeah, I, I'm, I love I'm, that. I really like to, to figure it out and, and, and practice every day you know, being bold to take steps into places that make me feel absolutely and utterly uncomfortable, but also like I, I, to remain as open as I possibly can. It's a dance, you know, and sometimes some days I'm better than others, but I, I, like, I like sort of wrestling with that. Um, going back to give advice, I'm finally in a place in my life where I, I've gathered enough experience that I, I like sharing it in hopes that others, you know, that are r right about to make, you know, decisions that I made just not that long ago are able, you know, to, to make better decisions for themselves. I just, I, I just like being able to be a mentor to younger women as well. Um, but I think I would do both. I wouldn't just want to choose one because if you go back and give advice means that you're pretending like you feel like you know it all. And I don't, I do yeah. not. Like I know that I know nothing still. But to receive advice also means that you stop trusting your guts, you know, your gut. And I feel like sometimes you know what you have to do. You just have to listen. I love that you're a mentor. It reminds me of that old Jack Lemmon quote where he says that you got to send the elevator back down. And I just love that you're at a point in your life where you can send the elevator back to. Isn't that, that is great? so powerful. Isn't I'm going to use oh, it. Please. It's not mine. It's Jack Lemons. I steal, I steal it all the time. Well, thank it's, you, oh, Jack. Of course, yeah. I got you. Um, you know, you can learn so much about any character by looking back on who they were, where they came from, what kind of childhood they have. You've played so many incredible characters throughout your career. Which one would you like to look back on to see who they were as a child to get a better understanding of their past? I would say Gamora. Well, we got yeah, because we got a we got a little bit really really quickly and yeah, yeah. And, and I feel like that taster made me incredibly curious to know what that planet was like, what her species mm -hmm. was like, because um, they were completely wiped out of existence, and um, because she carries like such a such a big weight on you know on herself and and. Um, and, and to get to know why and where that comes from was really great. I love you. I, I'm going to ask really quickly, um, did you ever have any details? Did you know anything about the Quentin Tarantino Star Trek? Because I thought that'd be really cool. I didn't think it was going to happen. But like, did you know what it, what it was going to be? I thought it was going to happen. I was like, oh my God, game changer if I get to work with Quentin Tarantino and Star Trek, whatever. Um, I, I think it was a scheduling issue, but I never, I never got a chance to read an, a page of that script. Um, I would have loved to. And I and I just have a feeling that would it would have been like a bloodbath, like <laughs> oh, a, a horror a delivery, like in a great space. Tarantino. Oh my god, a horror doing the like I dare you, I double dare you speech would have been incredible. I Zoe Saldana, I love you so much. You Thank and I have been talking you. for I, I counted it up like 12, 13 years, and you're always so kind and so sweet to me, and I always appreciate you, and you're a wonderful person. So thank you. Thank so much. Thank you so much. Likewise, bye, right, Mr. Hamilton. <laughs> good to see you, Miss Saldana. Good to see you again. <laughs> bye. bye, guys. Well, we're going, we don't need roads.